Okay. So I want to talk about the um, some of the products we offer here at Zaytech. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll let more people in as they join the call. So uh, we, we're going to have uh, specials coming up uh, soon and perhaps uh, every month or so we'll have new specials going on uh, as we make uh, updates and improvements to our uh, products, products and services. So this is the email that was sent out. Uh, most of you may have got it. Some of you may have not got it. Um, but if those of you that did receive it, um, thanks for joining the call. We'll try to make this more recurring, uh, perhaps every month or every two months. We'll see how the pace goes and how many people uh, get involved and ask questions. So let me go ahead and get started. So this is uh, uh, a series of webinars. Um, we're going to continue this webinar. We did it previously, but now that we have more products and services, we're trying to uh, let people become aware of it. So here's the email that was sent out. As you can see, it has the branded app picture, the Clover POS. Um, it tells you about the online ordering, uh, how it improves the customer experience, uh, in-app loyalty program. It, it helps to um, customers to come back again, 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 and again, and it boosts brand awareness, brand recognition um, with ease. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a PowerPoint here um, to kind of give you an idea of, of, of this, um, of this uh, branded app here. Let me actually switch to my other screen here. Give me one second. Okay, and I'm gonna share a new screen here. Okay, branded iPhone and Android app. This is the big, big thing that's gonna be emerging more and more. Uh, across restaurants all over the United States. And we're trying to take the lead in that. I know other uh, companies are also doing branded iPhone, Android apps. The, the one thing that's gonna distinguish us from the other companies is that we're gonna be very innovative. We're gonna add features upon features and you know, really improve the technology uh, to allow loyalty, rewards, uh, push notifications. These are all uh, currently available. And we're going to be improving uh, app updates. As you guys know, whenever there's an iPhone, Android app, whether it's eBay, Google, Zoom, um, they're, all, they're always updating it because that's how technology works. You keep updating it to improve the features. And that's what we're going to be aiming for, to constantly uh, keep it improved so the merchants have a great app and the customer experience is superb. So uh, common ways to get online orders. So I want to mention this because a lot of people don't really understand how online orders are made or where they come from. Okay. So the way right now people do online orders is through the customer's website. Let's say my website is called myfood.com. I go to myfood.com and I order from there. But um, common practice these days is to do an external link, which is like you go to Grubhub or DoorDash or some other link that sends um sends the customers to order from that problem we have solved that just had somebody join in uh thank you for joining uh so just to kind of, i'm going to let the other uh, person join in so while i continue here okay they're connected thanks for joining um so just trying to give a recap uh we're basically talking about the um let me actually go back one if i can so we're talking about the branded iPhone and Android app um, that is new up and coming emerging technology uh, for restaurants. It's white labeled, which has huge advantages because restaurant owners are getting crushed by these high commission fees that they have to pay through Grubhub, DoorDash, which is not even their own app. So we're trying to make white labeled apps for restaurant owners so they have an even playing field. Uh, why? Because Taco Bell has a, their own app. Uh, Subway has their own app. Pizza Hut has their own app. Um, Starbucks has their own app. Why should not uh, regular uh, restaurant owners have their own app? Why, why can't they do it, right? Why should they not be allowed to do that? So we want to even the playing field and give them their own apps and embed that or integrate that technology with the Clover. So it prints to the Clover. The uh, orders are sent to the Clover, prints to the Clover, it syncs with the Clover inventory uh, for the, uh, in terms of the uh, item management and the item descriptions um, and the stock count and all that stuff. So here's common solutions that people uh, currently use to get online orders. 
uh, for example, like I mentioned earlier, I can get an online order by going to myfood.com. If that's my website, I go to myfood.com and my customers order from there and they will, they will place an order. Now, here's a problem with that. Where does that order go to? Does it go through the Clover? Does it go through Grubhub, DoorDash? Does it go to a third-party printer? Um, how does that get accounted for? So what we're trying to solve the problem here is having all this information go right through the Clover. So the merchant remains in control of the customer's information so they can serve, it, serve them better, so they can contact them, so they can um, you know, email them so they can give them exceptional customer service because other platforms, once the order comes through, uh, that customer is no longer accessible. In other words, you can't contact them. It's very hard because the, once a day is gone, uh, it's hard to get a hold of that customer because you don't have their information. So what we do is we give the merchants access to the customer so they can um, you know, give them that exceptional customer service and uh, email them with special offers and all that. So that's done. That can be done, of course, through the app or through the website. Um, so the other option, which happens a lot, is uh, which we also offer too, which is a uh, subdomain. So you can go to myfood.smartonlineorder.com, or of course, other companies have their own subdomains where they order from. And then you have the other option, which is third-party Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats. These platforms, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, they have a purpose and they serve a market, which is delivery. Because restaurants these days, they don't have the manpower to deliver the food themselves. So Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, um, Seamless, there's a bunch of them. They serve that purpose very well. So let them do their job. Let them do the delivery. There's no need to cut them out. But my point with this uh, video or webinar is to tell you that um, when it comes to pickup orders, there's no need to use Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats for pickup orders because you can use that through your own branded app. A lot of the orders are just pickup. So anything with pickup, you can do yourself. Uh, and that's where, the, our, this, where, that's where the white label app comes from. And at the same time, when people order from Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, the next time they open the app, they see somebody else's menu. They don't see your business all the time. So you may lose customers that way. So having a branded app helps customers come to you again and again. And of course you have Google, Yelp, other sites where people find you on the internet. So uh, SEO is very important. Uh, make sure you have a website and we can help with that as well. So let me go to the next page here. Why branded app? Why from us? Why not from other department? Why not from other companies? Uh, there are some companies that do make branded apps, but I believe we're going to have an advantage over them. Um, and, uh, and over time, we're going to just keep getting better and better. Uh, our branded app uses the Clover inventory. It's branded to your business. It has the business's logo. It prints to the Clover. It creates loyalty, helps improve brand recognition, right? So it does all these things. And at the same time, um, you know, the merchant or the, um, or the sales agent or the person that's providing the support for the Clover, they don't have to uh, second guess where the funds went or where the order printed to because it goes all through the Clover. So it simplifies uh, the solution. So uh, something worth to mention, Klee, maybe about the difference between iframe and uh, native apps too. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring that up as well towards the end. Um, that's a good point, Christina. So iframe and actually, you know what? I'll address that right now. In the next screen, I have a picture of an iPhone app and I will address that because that's a typical question I get a lot. Uh, a lot of, uh, not a lot, but some developers or merchants will say, oh, I can make my own app and I can do it myself. Why should I have you guys built it for me? Well, that's a very complicated question, and it's very uh, and it's it's very technical because building an app that prints to the Clover, it's native, white labeled with your logo, maintained with all the different devices, is not easily done with just doing it yourself because there's a lot that goes into it, right? And we spent almost a year on building this out, so it's not easy as just getting a, a somebody that you hire, you know, on a website and have it built for you over a couple of days. It's very complicated. So you can, and you can call in, uh, uh, email us and we can tell you more because it's not that simple. And I had merchants that went that route and then they, their app stopped working or they're like, what's going on here? They started complaining to their developer because it wasn't printing or it wasn't adding items to the cart. So we solved all those pain points. So, um, you know, we had the one-stop solution. So you search the app store, you install the app, you order from the app, order sent to the Clover, 
and it prints and transfers funds to the merchant account, right? And at the same time, it creates loyalty because our app has loyalty programs. So if I order $100, I can get five points. I can get 10 points. I can get 20 points. It's up to the merchant um, how much points they want to give to the customer. So Starbucks, for example, gives loyalty points, right? I think they call it, uh, what do they call it, Christina? Stars or rewards? What's the word they use? You're muted. Sorry, uh, I think it's just uh, stars. Stars, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's say I have a pizza store. My pizza store is called um, um, Florida Pizza, right? So I can give them pizza points, right? I can give it a specific name. I can get creative. I can just call it points. I can call it um, pizza. Stars, you could call it. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, you can give it different names for the point program. So uh, keep that in mind. So if you have any kind of restaurant, um, again, the app is uh, very white labeled. That means you can uh, give it a specific name for your loyalty points to kind of stand out. That's just one small thing I'm kind of mentioning here. Now let's go to the next screen here. So this is what it looks like. Uh, here's one app that we built a business. It's on Google Play. It's on the app store, right? These two are the most popular platforms as you guys may already know. Uh, and in, you know, maybe five years ago, uh, Windows had one, but they're no longer around. So these are the two platforms that everybody typically aims for when downloading an app. Uh, and Apple has, I think, the majority in the United States, I believe. Um, so anyhow, it's, it's pretty competitive between them two, but it's always good to have it on both platforms. Uh, so the way it works is that we publish it on the App Store, Google Play. See how this app here? You can, if you look at the app, uh, you can see it's white labeled. It has the business owner's logo, has the business owner's food, has the business owner's name, has the business owner's description, right? Has the cart icon here. Everything is all about the business owner because we're trying to, uh, you know, empower the business owner so they can get more orders, so they can get brand recognition. Uh, so imagine uh, being a restaurant in your neighborhood and you have a branded app and everybody else does not have it that really makes you stand out amongst the competition or amongst your amongst other similar restaurants so and have an app is very powerful in terms of ease of use giving your customers more tools to use um, just making the user experience uh, easier for them right so another question we typically get is okay i have an app now uh, how do i get people to download it well there's many different ways uh, we help you with that. We we will make you a QR code. We will ship it to your business. It's a sticker. We will print out you a QR code. Uh, Christina typically can handle that. Just let us know. Uh, we'll, we'll email it to you and you can print it out. And you can put out your front window. You can put out your back window. You can put out your front cashier. And then the sticker, of course, is up to you. You can put that on your front window. And the sticker uh, basically says, you know, download our app. Um, Christina, if you don't mind, can you Slack me that? I want to share that as well. The one you created for one merchant. Um, the flyer of the branded app? Uh, the flyer of the branded app with the QR code. You know how it says download a QR code to download our app, that one. So what Christina gets, gets that sticker to me, I want to share that with you guys as well. Um, so so, um, so we'll, we, we will send you the, the, what you need uh, to get people to download it. Keep in mind, downloads, uh, downloads uh, it, it slowly builds up, right? So let's suppose after a few weeks or months or years or whenever you have a couple hundred, couple thousand, 10,000 people download your app, we have something called push notification, right? Let's say it's Tuesday morning and it's super slow and uh, you have these 10,000 or 2,000 or 500 merchants that have your app installed and they have push notifications enabled, you can write them a message, say, uh, you know, today's Pita Friday or something like that, or today is uh, Taco Tuesday or anything, you can send them a message and they will get on their push notification. I'm sure you guys know about that. Facebook sends tons of them every single day. Twitter does it too, right? And now you can send your own, right? So you can write custom messages to your merchants. So let me go ahead and go to the next screen here. Summary, uh, your own app, no need to be listed amongst third parties. Your logo, your app, create brand awareness, Clover integration, principal Clover device, money sent to your Clover account, reporting from your Clover update and make price changes in Clover. That's amazing, right? So you have like a one-stop shop, you have a Clover dashboard and then you have the app dashboard too. Uh, once app is downloaded, customers simply reopen the app, your menu is in their pockets, right? So imagine having real estate on somebody's phone, right? So, right? so um, 
you know, let's say somebody has a phone here, my thing is blurred, but uh, basically your, your, uh, your app is on their screen. So whenever you think of, you know, food or lunchtime or dinner time, they will go, oh, let me just click on your app. They open it, they order. And we do have an um, easy way to reorder. We do have, um, uh, you know, points and a bunch of cool things they can do while they're navigating your menu. Okay, cool. So uh, let me see, I got some links here to open up, but I believe uh, I will I will open that in a few minutes. Okay, so how much is the app? Um, so we have iOS, a one-time setup fee of 500, and then the Android one-time setup fee of 500, and then both is 1,000. Uh, typically, it's actually 999 right now. Um, so at the time of this webinar, whether you guys are watching it in this month or you guys are watching in the future, please do reach out to us because we do have specials here and there. Sometimes we have a social media package. Sometimes we have different um, uh, specials. Uh, but again, uh, it depending on the time you are watching this webinar, because it is recorded, uh, because it will be posted on YouTube uh, for people to see it in the future, because we're going to try to make these webinars more consistent. We want to keep people updated with our technology, because we are trying to make a really, really great uh, app and keep improving it so that business owners can compete against Subways and Taco Bells and McDonald's and all these other companies that have these lot, uh, advantage over small businesses. We wanna give them a really good uh, chance or opportunity to really scale and help them grow. So that's what we're here for. We're trying to help businesses uh, succeed and compete against other businesses. So, um, and then again, we also offer social media marketing because one question we get uh, once people sign up with us um, is they they may they may have good marketing uh, already they may not have it so we do offer that um, we have a lead here that helps with that so we can go and check out your social media and see how well um, it's doing or I mean how well it's set up or not and um, you know I have I think I have Dennis here and he can perhaps testify on behalf of that uh, he he's also a sales agent um, that uh, he introduced us a client of his to us. Um, and we grew his uh, online orders and his brand recognition, and uh, we work very hard to help businesses. So, you know, so we do, we do, uh, we do a very, we try very hard to understand your business, to make sure that you are getting the right uh, content at the right time to the right people um, with great pictures, great descriptions, great information, great content. We talk to you one-on-one, -on -one. we get to know your business. We ask you questions. Would you like stock photos? Would you like, um, you know, not stock photos? Which days do you prefer post? We ask you all these questions and that marketing team will do all that one-on-one uh, -on -one consultation with you. And then we will see which package works best for you. So here's some posts we did. Um, as you can see, it's very vibrant, very colorful, stands out, gets people's attention, wants them to take a look uh, uh, further at the post to see what's going on, what's, uh, what's the content about. Um, basically a call to action, you know, we can, we can also write, you know, on a Tuesday, we can say 10% off and then when they can go to the site, they'll get the 10% off based on how we set it up. And then we, uh, we, we, we definitely, we really try to, um, see what works, what doesn't work. So remember, whenever you do social media marketing, one thing to keep in mind is that social media marketing is not overnight. It takes it takes a few weeks um, or sometimes months. take a few months, yeah, for it to for it to your for it to connect to your audience because that's what they call retargeting. So as your customers start seeing your menu and your food dishes on your Instagram or Facebook, they start seeing like, wow, you know this this uh, business uh, in my area is really showing me some cool stuff. So it's on the back of their minds, right? So they may not immediately immediately show up. But eventually, it's gonna remind them, like, okay, I want, uh, you know, a burrito, and I keep seeing this one shop that keeps telling me about burritos, so I'm gonna go try it out, right? Or I see this chow mein from this one uh, restaurant, I want to try it out, or this one hot dog, or this, you know, uh, salad that I want to try from this other place, or this vegan dish from this other business. So uh, keep in mind, um, the way we measure it, we will give you tools, uh, we will send you reports. But there's also something that it's hard to measure, which is somebody may see this and they'll just come inside your business and buy it, right? Um, because they may not want to order online. They may just come inside your business and just do an in-store purchase. So you get that kind of customers too. So you, it's hard to measure that one. But, but overall, you will, uh, you will see some, 
feedback from your customers. Um, and our packages are very uh, diverse to, uh, to, uh, to fit uh, anybody's needs, right? So we have gold package, silver package. Um, and now let me share the package with you. So again, uh, our and I think it's one thing to note, Khalid, is that yeah. this is all called organic social media. So we're not doing paid advertising. So yeah, organic my... social media takes a while to build paid so paid advertising you can see results a lot quicker because you're paying facebook to give you the views and the likes and the yeah. follows yeah that's a great point uh christina made so remember when we do our social media we do organic uh organic is pretty consistent paid you'll get a rush of customers and then it kind of leverages out again so uh it's up to you um at the time when you guys call us because i've done videos a lot and i noticed in the past my videos are seen three years later and then people will ask me uh, questions. I'm like, oh, that video is three years, three years ago. So uh, depending on when you see this video, please give us a call. Uh, we may have new packages. We may have new opportunities. We have different, um, you, know, uh, you know, basically new programs that we can offer you. But as of uh, March 31st, 2022, this is our current and latest package, right? We have the goal package, which, which has four to five posts a week. Uh, calendar organization, flexible scheduling, uh, original personalized contact, analytics reporting, phone email support, um, post redesign, Instagram stories, reels, community engagement. Community engagement is huge because a lot of merchants, what happens is people respond to them and they never comment back or respond to them, right? Somebody may say, hey, uh, does your, is your food gluten-free or is your food have that? Or oh, I came the other day and I, you, you didn't give me my plastic fork, right? Um, when you respond to them, it creates um, it creates something with what what people the way you can say is that you care, right? So the next person that reads that comment, the way they they will interpret that they get, they say, oh, that business cares for my for my uh, for me, right? And they will in turn um, come to your business, right? But if you ignore all their comments and don't respond to it. So people that go on your Facebook or your Instagram, they see all these comments and nobody's responding. They go, oh, that business doesn't really care for their customers. So you just kind of, that's how people see it. I know it's not a- It's called building an online community. So you build yeah. your community by interacting with them and responding back to them um, in a timely manner. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So it, 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 you build that um, connection with your, uh, with your clients. Uh, so we do that for you. We, we, we offer that package as well, community engagement. So make sure you know you call us. We'll do a consultation with you. We'll tell you which package uh, suits best for you, or we'll work with your um, needs, uh, and then we can go from there. And we also have some specials once in a while where we have like a, uh, you know, you can start for uh, for 30 days, or uh, we say start with 30 days so you can get an idea how our team works, so you can get acquainted with with uh, with how the posts come about. Um, so let me quickly go back a little bit here. I want to show you something else that I was just sent in the Slack here. Give me one second. Oh, yeah. um, there's okay. something that I want to mention though about the um, about the social media we were just talking about the yeah, organic it, yeah. social media, um, okay. building your online community. And because we do the online ordering, um, we show return of investment. So this is what I tell a lot of the community, um, the restaurant owners and our, and our say, tech community, is that um, because we're um, in control of your online menu, um, sometimes I'll help, I'll give them tips about how like to connect the menu uh, better and how to present it online. And I give calls to action to people to order online. So what I'm trying to do is, show that show your audience how to use online ordering educate them and then we can show the return of investment by correlating the analytic reports of social media with your reports of your back end of smart online orders so if your if your online orders are going up and your social media is doing well we can correlate the two to show you your return of investment yeah very good point. yeah very good point you made and i know we don't want to keep um i know you uh uh, anybody have any questions so far? Because, um, you know, I want to make sure we answer all your questions before, you know, if, if anybody have any questions, please do, um, you know, reach out, let us know. Because again, we're here uh, to answer your questions. Um, and if you want to ask questions in the chat, please do so. Uh, we want to make sure all your questions are answered. And I'm going to share with you something else. Um, actually, let me go back to the um, PowerPoint here. So, <clears throat> so this is, uh, 
you know, this is what we, we try to tell merchants, you know, get your mobile app, get it today. Because uh, honestly, if I had a business, I would get it right away because I know the benefits it brings. And I'm not saying that because I'm trying to tell people to buy this. You know, I'm telling, I'm, I'm telling, I'm saying it because I've been doing this for so long that I know restaurants um, need this tool and technology to make it easier for their customers and for their themselves too, right? Imagine having an employee work for you. Your mobile app is like another employee that's constantly working for you, you know, creating loyalty and running the numbers and setting up your menu and, and showing people like, you know, how easy it is to order. So it's it's constantly working for you behind the scenes, right? It's, it's, it's always there. It's at the fingertip of the customer, right? Uh, and it prints through the clover. It shows in the clover who ordered. It prints through the kitchen, right? So it has all these cool advantages that um, that it benefits restaurant owners. And at the same time, um, restaurants need another tool like this because they're getting crushed by these other third-party behemoths, behemoths or behemoths, whatever. They, there's a word meaning like they're they're so big they can charge these extraordinary fees uh, to businesses. You know, 15, 20 percent commission. Uh, per online order, it really adds up. I so think the word behemoth. is behemoth. Behemoth, yeah, behemoth, yeah. So these uh, these are the multinational corporations or multi or corporations that have a huge. Um, they are basically, you, you know, it's it, it, they charge a lot, and and then uh, and people don't know there's alternatives, right? So that's where we come along. We're like, hey, you know, you don't have to pay them 15, 20 percent. You know, come to us. We have some uh, pricing that's much, much more reasonable. And it's more white, white label to your business, right? So what, what's the point of uh, always using DoorDash, Grubhub, right? Uh, and you can use them for delivery, which is fine. So my main argument with this webinar is use them, you know, because if it's, if it's working, it's working. But also add this because now you can have customers come to you from pickup orders from this angle, right? So I had one merchant, he had Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, um, a few of five, seven different companies. There's nothing wrong with that because you want to get different channels coming to you, right? Um, but having this extra channel and then growing it and pushing it, what's going to happen is you'll get more orders through here and then you will save money from those other channels. That way you reduce the commission on the other side as well. So it has lots of benefits to it. And I don't think the other ones print to the clover. Uh, I know they're trying to, they have, they've been struggling. They have lots of issues. I get calls from merchants all the time saying, this one didn't print, that one didn't print, it didn't go through. Um, so I hear that a lot. Um, and just to kind of show with, show you guys something here, I'm gonna share another screen real quickly here. Uh, give me one second while I do that. I'm gonna open my new screen here. It's loading, okay. Okay, so I am going to uh, let me zoom share. Okay, a uh, new share, and okay, so so this is the app that we I'm, I'm talking about. It's called Smart Online Order. It's found in the Clover app market, right? And this Smart Online Order also has an extension uh, called the branded app, right? Uh, and the company behind it is Zaytech. So we make the app Smart Online Order, um, and I want to show you. Uh, this video, I'm gonna play for you. Hold on, the video is the body. Do you nothing. call out a customer's name for each time an order is ready and wait to see if they heard you? Joe, your order's ready. Joe, order number 24, your order is ready. Want an easier solution for customers to know their order is ready without the hassle? Smart Online Order has the answer. Introducing texting with Smart Online Order. Now you can simply send a text from your Clover to your customers whenever their order is ready. No Joe, more calling out, ready. no more Joe, waiting. Let the customers ready. come to you. Simple as that. Smart online order with texting now available. Please visit smartonlineorder.com and get started today. Welcome to your own mobile app. Have you ever wanted your very own app in the iOS App Store or Google Play? You don't need to be listed in other third-party apps to be found when you can promote your very own app. This can help you cut out the middleman, saving you from additional charges. When you have your very own app for customers to download on their iOS devices, such as iPhone or on their Android device, orders come directly to your business. They only see your menu. 
Take charge and allow customers to directly download your app and order from your location without scrolling on someone else's app and seeing your competition. We can develop your branded mobile app and make it easy for customers to order again and again. As your customers open the app, they will see your menu with your personalized branding and logo. Just add your food pictures. You can have the most popular items displayed on the top banner. Zaytech is a one-stop shop for restaurants to build their own branded app. Our app works seamlessly with your smart online order menu and prints directly to your Clover device. Here are some great benefits. Our restaurant mobile app allows your customers to order and pay directly in the app. Effortlessly build loyalty by having your customers navigate your menu at their fingertips. Having your very own app lets you stand apart from your competition. Do you have multiple locations? Customers can find all your locations in your mobile app and choose the correct place before ordering. Let Zaytech help you put your restaurant on the app store. What are you waiting for? Visit Zaytech.com and get started today. Okay, so I wanted to share that video with you. And then also I wanna show you something else too, because um, you may saying, okay, I'm just trying to tell you about all the stuff and what about the customers? Are they liking it? Well, here's a customer speaking for themselves. So we have 156 five-star reviews, right? So, I mean, you can come here and look for it yourself. Um, these are these are all customers with their own words. They wrote it out. You know, they're they're telling us, they're telling, saying how happy they are with our products and services. So I can scroll for, you know, for, it'll take a while to scroll to the bottom, but you can see, uh, you know, I'm trying to, uh, we're, we have the best interest of the restaurant in mind, you know, when they succeed, we succeed, right? That's how I see it. And that's how we've been trying to uh, grow. Um, that's what we're trying to, that's how we approach the businesses, right? We make sure, you know, they're happy with our service. We explain to them how everything works and the results speak for themselves. So feel free to um, you know, look us up and look at our reviews, give us a call, get to know us, uh, you know, don't try to ask somebody other company about how we do, because they may be somebody that may not know us and they may not understand how we work. So talk to us directly, right? That way we can share with you our products and services. And you can also do a search on Google, you know, as you know, Google also, um, you know, we'll give you information, right? So you can see our reviews on Google, right? We 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 do we try very hard to help our customers, um, you know, exceed or meet meet or exceed their expectations, right? So feel free to um, check the stuff out. Uh, and then let me go ahead and share with you something else as well. That uh, let me actually download it real quick. Because I know earlier I mentioned about the QR codes. Um, let me see if I can get this downloaded here. You know what? I'm gonna just show it, show it like this. Give me one second while I share the screen here. New share. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, again, uh, we we're we're here to help you, right? So we we will make you a QR code like this, um, and then what we'll do is uh, we will email it to you, and you can uh, you know e print it out email to your customers, whatever you want to do with it, we'll make a QR code. So when they scan, it takes you right to the branded app. So that's one of the things we also do to help promote you, to help you. And then of course, if you get, if you get the social media package with us, we will constantly uh, promote your branded app and tell people to download it. We'll also put your branded app on your, help you put your, put on your website, uh, you know, the logo so that people can download it as well. Um, so that's, that's just some of the things that I wanted to mention in this webinar. Um, feel free to ask questions. I'll be actively watch, uh, reading the comments in the chat. Um, and also, if you guys are watching this video after the webinar, uh, go ahead, post comments in the, in the uh, YouTube section of the comment section. And also like the video. Uh, it helps with uh, algorithms that YouTube sends out because um, it, you know a lot of people don't know this technology that we offer. And it's really important. Uh, I feel that other business owners know about this because I think they don't know. That's why they're, the only thing their options are those other companies uh, like DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats uh, that makes apps, but they don't know that they can have their own. So try to get the word out as much as you can. Tell a few people, uh, share the link, uh, let people know. Uh, so that way they can also um, learn about this important um, technology that, that can help their business. So with that being said, I want to take questions. Um, if there is any questions, uh, you feel free to unmute yourself and ask questions. Um, if not, Christina can share anything additional 
with you guys. Um, let me let me actually share my PowerPoint again. Uh, hey, Kyle, I don't want to really say a question, but yep. just kind of comment about the social media. Okay. So um, I had a merchant that literally opened their doors in October. They were doing, you know, 5,000, 14,000. Um, and I think in December they were at like, I don't know, maybe 18,000. And then you guys jumped in like the middle to end of December. And in January they went to 45,000. Last month they were at 60,000. This month they're about to eclipse 80,000. Like the social wow. media work. And these guys are doing everything and anything they can to make it work and work with the client because the client's a little difficult sometimes. And, you know, it sends me random text messages, kind of upset about stuff. But, you know, I call Khaled right away. He answers the phone. Him and Christina get on a call, work everything out, explain to him, you know, you're just kind of going through growing pains. You know, you're doing yeah. $80,000 a month in, in less than six months. That's amazing. Yeah, so. thank you so much, Dennis. Yeah, I really appreciate that. And by the way, uh, as you guys, uh, just to kind of be very transparent, uh, we, I did not tell Dennis to say that, nor did I uh, <laughs> beforehand uh, rehearse this. You know, he just came and, uh, you know, said that on his own. Um, you know, I really appreciate that, Dennis, that you uh, took, took the time to say that. And again, uh, like Dennis mentioned, we work very hard, uh, Christina and her team, the marketing team, and our team, the tech team, the sales team, uh, we all work together to make sure that the customer succeeds. And, uh, you know, some cases the merchants are getting, uh, you know, uh, maybe they get super busy and they're like, where are all these orders coming from, right? They don't know that we're behind the scenes. We're like trying to do all these posts and promotions and, and do all these things and they're growing. So during growing pains, um, yeah, it gets stressful because you're getting all these orders and you're like, you can't handle them you know, which is a good thing, right? Um, so um, so in this case, that what what um, Dennis brought up here, which uh, is the merchant was confused, like, you know, okay, I, I'm doing all these orders, it must be on my own. But uh, I had to explain to him is the reason is because we're also helping you in the back end, you, you may not see us, you know, you know, always like studying your food and menu and putting posts up and having a branded app and doing all these things. And when he finally connected everything, he said, I get it now. Right. So I had to kind of explain that to him. Um, so, <laughs> which is a good thing. Remember if your business grows a good thing, but I know if it grows too fast, it, it may be a little bit challenging. So we're here to grow it. And if it grows fast, that's just, that's just something that uh, that's a positive outcome. Uh, and maybe, you know, I understand uh, businesses, they, they may have shortage of staff, so it gets stressful because, you know, sometimes the employees may not be there uh, at all times. Um, but, you know, those are those are uh, things that eventually will get sorted out as, you know, this COVID things kind of wears out or goes away. Um, but right now, you know, it, things are looking much brighter for business owners. Um, so thank you so much, Dennis. I really appreciate that. And just to be very transparent, I, you know, Dennis came on the call on his own free will. And, uh, you know, I just opened the floor for questions and he just mentioned those things. So uh, really appreciate your feedback, Dennis. It means a lot. Yeah, that um, company that Dennis was talking about. They yeah, uh, at least Christina, over one. First, you know, yeah, just uh, just to be uh, clear, uh, you know, maybe they don't want to be mentioned, so just try not to name the business because you know, just because it's a live. I know. I was just yeah. gonna tell. I was just gonna say that they grew at least a thousand followers over one month. Yeah, yeah, because we don't want. Uh, it's a live webinar. Uh, the business. I know we, we know exactly which business Dennis is talking about. Um, so uh, he grew a lot, but at the same time, uh, I you know I. You know, I did not know we were going to talk about him. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, but we're here to help out uh, to businesses to make sure they succeed and grow. Um, but feel free uh, to reach out to us uh, if you want that case study. We may write about it soon uh, about that business and how well they did and how we made it happen. And we also have other case studies too. Like, uh, let me actually share with you one case study we did. Um, uh, so if you go to our website um, and you go to zaytech.com, oops. Uh, Okay, and then you go to um, here. Uh, let me actually log out here. Okay, and then you go to blogs here. Oops. Oh, okay, and then you go to blogs here. Okay, and then I think the case study is here somewhere. Let's see the case study. Okay, here we go. So here's another company we'll work with. Um, see, in this case, we wrote about it already. Um, the new one we just work with, we haven't uh, wrote about their success yet. We may, we may also do a case study with them. I, I'm pretty sure they'll be perfectly fine with that. But feel free to read case studies that we did. 
So Bahia Bowls is one merchant that we uh, started with. They grew to multiple locations and then they were recognized as top 51. Was it fast casual Christina in the United States? What was it, what was the number? What was it, what was it called? Fast casual? Yes, top 40 fast casual. Yeah, top startup. 40 fast casual in the United States. So here's the numbers, how we grew their brand, how we grew their business, uh, impressions, engagements, clicks, right? Um, so you can see how, uh, how our social media team works really hard behind the scenes to make it grow. And, um, you know, so, you know, it, maybe when, by the time you guys watch this video, come back, refresh the blog page. We may have a case study for this new merchant that Dennis is talking about because they grew very fast too, just like Bahia Bulls grew. So we may write the case study uh, on them. We, we just, we, the reason why we're not mentioning the name is because we want to get their permission to mention them. Um, but this merchant gave us permission to write a case study for them. So that's why we're mentioning them here on the live call. Um, so yeah, here's the problem they had and, and how we did the solution. It goes step by step and all that. Um, so it's, it's, it's incredible, you know, uh, and I always tell merchants, it's a two way thing, right? So as long as the merchants do their part, which is great, give great customer service, help the, help their customers, um, you know, treat them with respect and do all those things that they normally do. And then we'll do our part. And then it's a winning combination, right? But if the merchant, um, you know, does not treat their customers with respect or doesn't serve food uh, on time or delays it, or doesn't apologize for mistakes, you know, then it's it's really hard uh, because we as a two way thing. You know, so if you're listening to this webinar and you're offering great service, your your customers are happy, and you want to take it to the next level, reach out to us, and we can make that happen, right? But if you're, um, you know, if you're Yelp review, and you have all these people uh, mentioning some things that you need to improve, you know, I would recommend, um, you know, still reaching out to us so we can help you how to improve those things so we can get those comments back to becoming positive. And then we can we can uh, discuss a, a, a solution with you, um, but we also but at the same time we we need for you to also do your part, uh, you know, which is of course like like uh, Dennis mentioned, Christina mentioned, um, you know, the merchant that we work with, you know, we make this very clear in the beginning that you know uh, as long as they do their part, uh, we will do our part and we will help you um, grow your brand. So. Thank you so much, uh, Dennis, uh, for those comments. Uh, anybody else? I know there's a few other people here um, on the call. If you guys want to make a comment as well, feel free to do so. If not, um, you don't have to. Uh, if you want to write in the chat, uh, I can read it out. I can read it without reading your name if you wish to do that. Um, okay, oh, I see. Okay, cool. There's a question here on the chat. <laughs> Sorry, I did not see this. What's the average time to develop an app? Okay, so... Um, so it depends, but right now, as of today, March 31st, 2022, if you call us and say, hey, I want to app develop for Mike's Pizza or Tom's Sandwich Shop, uh, we're looking at about 10 to 15 business days, right? Um, so so it, all, it all varies on the timing, right? So sometimes in spring, because we have specials that come and go. So sometimes we have a special and then we get tons of people signing up. And then sometimes we have uh, in summer when people are getting apps, or New Year's. New Year's is people have a, a resolution to grow their business, so they get apps. So it all depends on when you call us, um, but we will give you a, a, a very a, a good estimate. Um, and usually we try to under promise over deliver, right? That's what we that's the model we follow um, here at Zaytech. We try to um, under promise over deliver. So if we say 10, 15 business days, we try to do it in about eight business days, right? Because we want to be conservative, just in case, just in case there's some delays. Um, so we try our best to get that done for you as soon as possible. Uh, can you go into service charges to cover the monthly fees? Yes. Very good question. Yes. So this is an amazing question and I completely forgot to mention it. Okay. So one thing uh, we do is we work with merchants very closely uh, to see their budget, how they're getting online orders, where it's coming from, what's their average ticket, right? We, we, we analyze all this information and then I will sit out, sit down with them or one of my team will sit down with them. I'll say, hey, Ben from John's Pizza, your average ticket is thirty five dollars um, and you're getting two hundred fifty orders a month. Right. And um, let's do this action plan. Let's have the customers pay uh, a month uh, per order fee. That way they absorb all the costs. So they pay for everything and you don't have to pay anything out of pocket. Right. So we can do that for you too. So if you don't want to, if you if you see this uh, app development fee, and you wish to find a way to have the customer uh, cover the cost, we can do that. 
So we do take the co we take the whole cost and then we 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 come up with a number and then have the customers pay per order for it over a period of months or weeks or days, right? So if you're getting 200 orders a day, um, uh, and then and we can have it paid off in three days, right? Three days is what? Sorry, four days. Yeah, four days is uh, 800 orders, so you can do like a buck 29 per order, and you have it paid off in uh, in, uh, in four days. If you're doing 25 orders a day, online orders then it'll take you longer to have it paid off, right? Uh, that's just one way of looking at it. And then of course the monthly fee. Uh, the monthly fee, a lot of people ask, uh, why is there a monthly fee for the branded app? So remember anybody that calls you and tells you, hey, I can build your branded app for $2,000 flat. You never never have to pay again. So try to stay away, stay clear away from most people because there's no such thing uh, because apps need updates. Technology is constantly changing. Servers need to be updated. Uh, Apple uh, releases new iPhones. Uh, iOS 13 comes out. iOS 14 comes out. Android comes with new stuff, right? So we have to constantly update it, right? So that's why there's a monthly fee for us to maintain your app and keep updating it. So imagine somebody that says to you, hey, uh, Ben from Mike's uh, Pasta, I can make an app for you for $3,500 and that's it. And I'm gone. You don't have to worry about it ever again. And he leaves the country or whatever, and you can't get a hold of him and your app doesn't work, right? That's a huge problem because now your customers can't order and he's not updating it for you. He does not giving you technical support. He's not giving you that optimal service, right? So the monthly fee is for that maintenance that we charge to keep your app functioning at a peak level, right? So it's very important that uh, you're very careful with anybody that tells you that to you, you know, because apps need update. Like right now, if I go to my eBay app, I'm almost uh, uh, sure there's an app update available, right? Amazon app update. Every couple of days, every week, every two weeks, there's an app update because Apple makes new rules. Um, Facebook makes new rules. There's new policies, there's new features, there's new things that comes out, right? So we, that's what we're doing. We're adding new features. We're adding new technology. Clover may release a new feature and we have to update the app to accommodate that new feature, right? So we're always uh, trying to make your app better and better. Um, so keep that in mind. I had one merchant just recently, I don't wanna give their name. Uh, uh, he said, oh, I found somebody that's gonna make me a branded app for a flat fee. And then I said, be very careful because what he's quoting you does not make sense because it was a very cheap price. And he finished, uh, and then I checked out his app. It was a web app. Web app is not a native app. It's completely different, like Christina mentioned earlier. Web app is, uh, you can go to a website and press add to home screen. There's your web app. I can make one in 30 seconds, right? You just, then you make a developer account and then you make a web app. So web app is uh, not something you want um, because you need a native app. Native app is optimal, is designed for the iPhone, Android. So all the buttons and the tablets, everything is optimal. Uh, so it works correctly and the, every, all the buttons work just as expected. So be very careful uh, when you hear these quotes coming from people um, and, and you know, call us and say, hey, I talked to three other developers and they told this to me. Can you let me know um, what you think about this? And I'll, I'll be very honest with you and my team will be very honest with you. It, you know, we'll say, hey, this is a web app. This is not, this is that one doesn't print to the clover. This one prints to the clover. We'll tell you because we, because we're not here to uh, sell. We're not here to um, try to say we're the best, right? Uh, if there's a better solution for you, we'll say that. We'll say, hey, you know what? That company is better for you because we'll ask you questions. I'm like, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to sell? Uh, are you trying to sell this uh, local? Are you trying to sell this uh, for the whole country, right? Our app, uh, for example, let's say you're selling these bowls and you're shipping it out to the entire United States, uh, we'll be very honest with you. As of today, uh, we don't have uh, ability for you to ship the bulls to, you know, to New York and California and New Jersey and all those states because we don't, it doesn't print shipping labels, right? It's made for a uh, restaurant scenario, right? So we'll be very honest with you. We'll tell you if our app is the right fit for you, right? So if there's a better solution for you, we will tell you about it because uh, we're, we're not here to try to take everybody's business because, you know, every business is different. And we will tell you what's best for you. And if our app is the best for you, we'll tell you, we're like, hey, I think our app will work the best for you. So we're trying to be very transparent. Let me see any more questions here. Uh, sorry, noisy uh, location. Uh, what is the migration from the Clover app and the Clover loyalty app? Do you transfer the data to the app? Okay, so what is the migration from the Clover app and the Clover loyalty app? Okay. So, maybe could you show some of the back end of the loyalty too? 
Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can do that. Okay. So that's a very quick, good question. So right now, Clover does have a loyalty app. Um, they do have it. Uh, it's called uh, Rewards. They renamed it a few times. The only thing with the Clover's loyalty app is that it does not integrate with online orders, right? So they don't have a, um, API, you call it, to integrate with. Uh, so what we're doing is we're making our own loyalty, right? So, and of course, Clover's loyalty app, you have to pay a monthly fee for it too. Um, so ours uh, right now comes with it, uh, which is our own loyalty. And let me see if I can share with you the latest uh, updates we have for it. Give me one second if I can find it. So, um, but that's a very good question. Um, let me see if I can find it for you guys. Yeah, it's called rewards. Uh, okay, let me take a look here. Let's see if I can find the link. Okay, so let me, if I can share this new screen here. Okay, so okay, so here's the back end. Um, you guys are asking great questions, so I'm sharing more screens. Um, that's a great thing about webinars, right? It goes in all these different directions, which is great because uh, I want to make sure I answer you guys' questions. So here's the uh, smart all in order dashboard. This is the back end, right? So Clover has their own rewards program, right? So as you can see, what we have in the pipeline, we have a bunch of cool features coming up. So we have, for example, on the first order, you can offer a customer a discount or loyalty points. If they install the app, they, you can give them a, uh, a discount for installing the app, right? So you can say, you can make a, you can say, you can tell your customers, hey, install, install my app and you get, you know, uh, 20 points uh, added to your account or install my app and you get 10% off your first order. So we have other programs, spend-based program, order-based program. And then we have the mobile app. You can do the push notifications. We have the customers, uh, the loyalty, earn points, how many points they spent. Um, so we have tons of things going on here, uh, in-depth reporting. Um, and let me, let me briefly go over the loyalty feature here. So basically, um, loyalty is pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, I can say customer spends, a, a customer gets 100 points for each dollar they spent. 100 points a equals $5, right? So they get if they spend a hundred, uh, they spend a um, hundred dollars, they get uh, five dollars off, or they can say ten dollars off. So it's like almost like saying 10 percent off, and these points get added up. So if they if they come back to your to the branded app and they only use fifty points, um, you have fifty points uh, available for the next um, for the next customer. I mean, sorry, for the next order they do right. So the points uh, are slowly deducted. The nice thing about doing that is that. Um, they will always have a reason to come back to use up all their points. And the cool thing that we offer also, I don't think Starbucks offers this. We have this cool feature here. Let me show you if it's over here. Okay, allow points to be used to earn more points. It's pretty cool. I don't think Starbucks has this. Last time I checked, I didn't see it. So uh, let's say I have, um, let's say I use my points, uh, 50 points. Uh, and then and then I and then when I order, I get another ten points, right? So that kind of creates a cycle that they, their points are always there. They're always getting points, so they'll always have something in their account to use, which is really cool to keep them coming back again and again. And then of course you can send them push notifications with your specials and all the all the cool deals you have. So right now you can you can um, you can say uh, the points uh, works on the branded app, the website, and then of course we're having a kiosk pretty soon, which is a completely different webinar. But uh, soon uh, you can apply the points uh, to the kiosk too. Kiosk is basically using your Clover as a kiosk, which is something we're also working on. So when that comes out, then you can check this box too. So they can use the points. And in other words, uh, they all, it's all recognized across the board. So if they, if they come to your business and order in the kiosk, they get 20 points and they go at home, they order from their couch, they get 20 points. They order from the website, they get 20 points, right? And then now they have 60 points because they order from three different places. So that's how that works. Let me see if you need more questions. Cool, Tony, thanks for the plus. I think that means that's a thumbs up. Um, let me see message. Awesome, thank you, you guys had some great questions. Um, so right now we're at 59 minutes uh, into the webinar, but hopefully I was able to answer you guys' questions um, and try to make things uh, pretty uh, reason easy to understand. 
Uh, again, our team is here to help you. Um, you know, you can just uh, visit our website. Uh, it's very easy. Look, just Z-A-Y-T-E-C-H. And if you see this on YouTube, um, it, you know, you'll see in the description below our contact information. Our phone number is here, uh, right there, right? I will also put, I'll also put it in the description of this video so you can give us a call. Um, again, um, just to wrap it up real quick, I'm going to go over a few last things and because I know you guys have to go. So give me another two minutes and I'll wrap it up. Um, did you go over the roadmaps of the in-store loyalty and stuff like that? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, thanks for bringing that up. So our roadmap is that right now on the Clover device, uh, when people order stuff, uh, they can't get points right and they go home and then they order app on their branded app they don't get points so what we're going to do is we're going to have the um, branded app um, show a qr code so when they come to your business with your branded app you scan it from the clover and they can get points uh from the clover device so it's added to their account so by the time you guys see this video on youtube we may already have that um but as of today's date uh, it's it's almost there. So we're getting very close to it. Um, so even maybe by the time you guys get the app, we'll have it uh, available. So that's something that we're also working on. So as you guys can see, we're, we're really aiming very high to make a very high quality app that helps uh, business owners thrive and grow uh, and all that. So, and again, we could do, we support multiple locations. We support single locations. We, we grow with you, you know, start small and grow with us or start with 10 locations. And, you know, it's up to you, how, however you want, how many locations you want to start with. Uh, we can work with you at, at, at every level and we can work with your menu. Uh, we have, if you, whether you have tons of modifiers or just one, we can work with you to support all those modifiers and options uh, for your, for your needs. Um, with that being said, um, I think I covered everything, I, social media, app, packages, pricing. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us, uh, uh, sales agents. Uh, I'll try to do these webinars more often. I'll post this on YouTube uh, by before the end of the day in case you want to share it with somebody else. Uh, please do comment or like on this video uh, to help the YouTube algorithm uh, so other people can also become aware of it. Uh, so it is 1101. Uh, we're one minute past. Um, if there's any last minute questions, please do ask. I will answer it right now. If not, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you, Tony. Thanks for the excellent. Really appreciate that. Um, and thank you, Dennis, for, for, uh, for answering that great, great question. And uh, really appreciate your uh, comments there and your feedback. And thank you, Christina, for uh, also reminding me some of the topics I forgot to cover. And uh, we'll do another webinar soon. Uh, so keep your emails open. If you don't get our emails for the webinar, reach out to us. We may have your old email. And also, uh, um, sales agents uh, that are watching this, uh, please, I know some of you guys used to work with First Data and then it changed to Fiserv. So your old emails that we have is not working. Um, so please reach out to us and give us your updated email so we can send you emails and get you in the loop with our weekly webinars or monthly webinars uh, once we get a schedule going, okay? So reach out to us and we can update your contact information. Just call us, email us, say, hey, uh, I, I, my name is this and here's my email address and we'll update in our records because we want to uh, get this information to everybody, um, all, the, all the agents and all anybody that's interested on in hearing more and even merchants, uh, you know, anybody that wants to hear these webinars, please let us know. We can opt you in so you can get weekly or monthly updates. All right. Um, so we're three minutes past 11 uh, Pacific time. Um, Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Uh, have a great, great day. Have a great weekend. Uh, I know tomorrow's Friday, so have a great uh, Friday as well. Uh, thank you so much. We'll talk again soon. Thank you. Thank you.